Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you in easy steps how to make these elegant hearts, seed beads earrings with super dew beads and seed beads. St. Valentine's Day is coming so I want you to be prepared with the presents and with the jewelry to wear for the holidays. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Check description for useful resources, a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check also in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are super dew beads in white color and 11 0 golden beads. I'm also using earring findings. This is beading thread nail bone. You could use Nymo or other thread of your choice. Here I'm also using size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 or 10. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are pliers and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up three of those beautiful super dew beads. Then I'm sliding those down. And I arrange them like this, the middle one pointing in one direction and the other two pointing in the other direction. And what I do is as I hold them like this, I go through the empty hole of the same super duo that I'm exiting out. You see, I'm zigzagging through it, okay? So here I'm pushing them like this, holding them. Then I take one more bead and I go through the empty hole of the following super duo. And as I hold them, I pull. So when I pull, I have this beautiful diamond shape. They beautifully stuck together. And now what I want to do is to make here a knot. Don't worry that this knot will be visible because later we will cover it with more beads and it won't be visible. Okay, I make this knot. Then in my next step, guys, I want to go through all of those three beads like this. Then I'm taking one super do. I slide it down. And I turn it in this direction. You see what I have. Then I go through its other empty hole. Zigzag through it. You see? I will remove my fingers just to see what I'm doing. Zigzagging through this super do and pulling. Then I take another super do. And I go in the next super do. Take another one, slide it down like this, then take one more, slide it down and turn it in this direction. And then what I want to do is go through all of those beads here. Then like this. And through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm going to take one bead. Slide it down like this and turn it in this direction. Then again, I'm going through its empty hole, zigzagging through it, taking another super do, and go in the next one. 
Okay, just like this. Another golden. Go in the following super do. And then two white beads, two white super do's. Okay, and one of them I arrange, the first one I arrange in this direction and the second one in this direction. And then again, I'm going like this. My goal is to attach them to stay like this. Okay. Then what I do is that I go here and my goal now guys is to zigzag again and exit through this middle golden bead. And I take two goldens go in the empty hole of my neighbor super do then three goldens and go here and by the way if you can in one movement go through all of those beads okay then here at the empty hole And add just two more beads and go in this golden. Okay, now I have this. Then in my next step, guys, what I want to do is exit through these two goldens. And now I think, guys, it is time to cut this tail thread here and remove it okay then guys i want you to do two more hearts like this just to repeat the whole process up to here two more times okay and i have three elements absolutely the same way and by the way the threads are going from different places but don't worry you could always reposition the thread the way you want to okay and i'm going to take this first one that i did And I'm taking two golden beads, my earring finding and two golden beads. And what I do next is that I go through those two goldens. And pull like this. And then I'm going to reinforce this. by going one more time through all of the beads here. And here, guys, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I find a place uh, that I like. I make a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made. I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction, through one or two beads. And after that, I cut this tail thread. Okay, now this is what I have. And by the way, my friends, you could finish your earring like this if you like small earrings. But now I will show you how to connect three elements together. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to reposition my thread zigzagging through the beads. And I want to exit through this uh, golden bead in this direction from here to here. Okay. So wherever your thread is, just reposition it to go like this. And then I want to connect those two elements. Okay. 
so I'm taking this second toast this this first element and going out of the second one I'm going like this so when I pull I have this then to make it more stable I get I take two golden beads go through all of those three then again two and go here and then and then what I want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this the same way I make a loop I go twice through the loop I've made I pull then I go let's say through one or two beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread okay okay my friends then I'm taking uh, the third element and I already repositioned the thread so it goes from this golden bead in this direction and uh, what I want to do next is go here in this super duo and then in this golden okay I connected it then two goldens go through all of the three and two more goldens and go here that's it guys now just make a loop go twice to make a knot and cut your thread okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and now my elegant hearts beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often you could also check description for useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful design that you did following my tutorial and you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching